Yo, what's up? Uh, just talking a little bit more today about some more exponential growth, which is apparently the coolest topic right now in math, which is great because people are getting involved with it. But I, hopefully I can explain to you the urgency of now because these are serious things, uh, times we're going through. This is some serious stuff. Um, so I'm going to show you how you can be a lifesaver. Yes, you, sitting at home, all right? And of course, this doesn't go out to all the folks out there. I want to thank you all who have to still go into work, putting themselves at risk. Um, thank you, all of you. But for everyone else who doesn't have to go to places where there are other people, okay, don't. Stop being selfish. Be a lifesaver. I'll show you how. Now, I want to prove to you that preventing one transmission today could possibly save a human life a month from now, and many, many more after, all right? How? Math. So there's two um, statistics, statistics we're using today, okay? Based on numbers we've acquired from the World Health Organization. And these two numbers are debatable. But regardless of how you debate them, you're going to have to believe that they are each something, and the trend, exponential trend, is gonna be the same model, it's just gonna be maybe more spread out. So there is some doubling time and there is some mortality rate, but right now we think the doubling time is about six days. And the mortality rate is about 3%. Now, with all the new social uh, distancing measures that we're putting in place, I think that six days hopefully is like 16 or 20 days. That would be fantastic. We talked about that in the last video. But all I'm going to use is the data we know now to further support why we are doing this, okay? So, I'm gonna show you right now that one transmission prevented today could save a life in 30 days. How? Well, day zero. Transmission is happening. Transmission isn't being prevented. We're gonna pretend that the transmission just goes shoo, which means every six days, the number of people infected doubles. So we have one person here, six days from now, guess what? We have two people, okay? And six days after that, day 12, we have one, two, three, four people, okay? And six days after that, that four becomes eight people, okay? Eight people infected with the virus. Those eight become 16 on day 24. One, two, three, four people. Five, six, seven, eight people. Nine, 10, 11, 12 people, 13, 14, 15, 16 people. Now you may be wondering, why is he drawing people? Why don't you just use dots? I'll tell you because I've already shot this video before and then I watched it and I used dots. And then I realized they're not dots. They're people like you and like me. So I'm drawing people up here because while you might not know these people, they're real. And they're out there, and you can save them. Day 30, 16 and 16, it's 32. One person, two, three, four, five, six people, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 human beings, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 humans, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 people just like you and I, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, mothers, grandmothers, parents, brothers, sisters, friends, co-workers, spouses, loved ones. Those 32 people from that one transmission. Now, this is where that 3% rate comes in, which is pretty important because what does that mean 3% it sounds like a small number but it's 3 out of every 100 people which is about 1 in every 33 people which means we've got about 33 people here from that one transmission one of them doesn't make it I don't know which one maybe it's this guy okay and not only that, all these folks go to the hospital, intensive care, okay? We want to prevent that. Now, 
something else doubles also. The number of people who've passed from this disease. And it doubles every six days. So what actually happens is this whole thing, we can change the days on the bottom. We can see what happens after the first month. Because guess what? These are no longer infected people. On day 30, it's your first mortality. And on day 36, two people have passed from that one transmission. Day 42, day 48, day 54, and day 60. Okay? Now, it means two months from now, that one transmission today, based on these two numbers, okay, about 30 humans, okay, that aren't going to make it. Now, I understand many of you guys have to go to work, and I thank you for that, but please, everyone who does go out, keep your distance, all right? Keep your distance. And those of you who are thinking about going, meeting with the friends, having a few beers, don't. Please, don't be selfish. Not now. Not with these numbers. Because definitely these numbers are going to be, we're going to see a spike, okay? There's going to be a spike right now because we just started putting social distancing measures in a few days ago, okay? So we're going to see these doublings every three, four, five, six days for a bit. And then it's going to slow down. And I don't know what it's going to be, okay? I don't know. But I'm hopefully we can get this thing to 30 days, okay? And hopefully we find out that this is closer to 2%, okay? Or even close, who knows? But either way, Every transmission does end up on this same path, regardless. And if it's not one month from now, it's three months from now, or seven. If you twist these numbers, you can't prevent the fact that it's increasing. And a part of that increase is the increase in death. Some of those people will die. Many will be in the hospital. So, first, thank you for everyone who's out there working. Okay? All of you. Keeping the stores stocked. Working in the, the ERs putting yourself at risk, police, fire, EMTs, nurses, doctors, stop and shop, McDonald's, everyone who's out there working, trying to keep people fed, thank you. But if you don't have to go to work, stay in, please, or go outside, go for a walk, okay? Call your loved ones, call your elders, call your grandmother, tell them you love them, but don't go over there and hug them. Thanks for watching, and um, we can only get through this together. I'll, I'll post again when I have something else worth, t worth talking about, um, and uh, be a good neighbor. We can do it. Let's go.